Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to use this web application to manage your client's tasks or client-related projects. This application is based on Google Sheets and is free to use. You can also reach out to me for customization. In this video, I will explain how to set it up and use it. When you first open this web application, you will see several tabs such as Task Manager, Client Manager, Reporting, Meetings, and Configurations. Before I continue, please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Your support means a lot to me. We will start with the Configuration tab. In the Configuration tab, you will find options like Manage Dropdowns, Manage Preferences, and the Advanced tab. To start, you will create a few dropdowns. For example, I have set up Managers, Users, Task Types, and Client Types. You can create a new manager like this and perform basic CRUD operations, such as deleting a manager. Once a manager is added, go to the Users tab and add users under your newly added managers. The Users tab lists user email IDs and each user will have an automatically generated PIN. When a new user is created, a user-specific URL is also generated, allowing the user to view only the tasks assigned to them. Next, you can add basic task types, edit them or delete them to add your own tasks. Similarly, you can add client types or customer types, which will be used when creating new clients. Note that the Activity Types section is not used in this application, so you can ignore it. To create a new client, go to the Client Manager tab, fill in the mandatory fields, and submit the form. The client will then be created. In Client Manager, you can search for clients and view all clients, either active or inactive, using the switch. The Bulk Edit feature allows you to delete, activate, or deactivate clients. When you hover over any client record, you will see action buttons such as View Client Details, Add Client Note, View Client Notes, Show Related Tasks, Edit Client, and more. From here, you can also send WhatsApp messages or emails directly, even if the phone number is not saved in your contacts. You can create new tasks for the selected client or delete the client using the relevant buttons. Let me show you how to perform some actions one by one. For example, if you click on View Client Detail, you will see the client details. To add client notes, you can choose a file and add the note, which will then be visible in the Client Notes section. Let me show this to you. Then you can view all the client notes chronologically. It will also help you to keep history for any client. You can also show related tasks if any exist for the client. And add tasks for the selected client. Let me show you the process of creating a new task for the selected client. This will also create the task in your calendar. If you don't want to create a task in Google Calendar, you can uncheck this option or set the default behavior in the Preferences tab. 
click on Show Related Tasks. The newly added task appears here. This is how you create a task from the Client Manager page. You can also create tasks from the Tasks tab. You can filter these task records based on task type, assigned member, manager, etc. This page is dedicated to showing only pending tasks by default. However, you can switch to show completed tasks as well. When you hover over any new task, you will see options like Mark Complete and Recreate. Marking it complete will finish the task and Recreate will generate a new task based on the set frequency. For example, quarterly tasks will reappear after three months. Let me show you the demo. And here you can see the selected task was marked completed, and it got recreated also. You can also choose to simply mark tasks as complete and finalize them. You also have the option to create one-off tasks that don't need to be repeated. There are buttons for View Task Notes and Add Task Notes, allowing you to add notes and files chronologically under each task. You can keep adding several notes, The Send Mail button allows you to optionally send an email to the client. The Reporting tab is used to view clients having outstanding tasks, generate reports, and download them. You can see which client's tasks are pending, and this tab is useful if you need to display clients with pending tasks based on the selected task type. This tab may not be useful to you as it is client-centric. The Meetings tab lets you view all created tasks in a calendar view or optionally create meetings. You can create a meeting by selecting attendees from users, managers, and clients, and then creating the task in Google Calendar. Let me show you how to create a meeting. Select New Meeting. Set the title and description. Select three attendees and create the task in Google Calendar. Once created, it will appear in the Calendar view. To integrate the calendar with this application, you need to set the calendar ID and embed calendar code in the configuration. Let me show you where to get this calendar ID and code. Open your Google Calendar. Go to the Settings tab. Select your calendar or create a new calendar for this project. For example, Task Manager. Click on Integrate Calendar. Copy the calendar ID and paste it into the Preferences form. The embed code will display the calendar in the Meetings tab. To embed the calendar, copy the embed code and paste it here. This is how we integrate the calendar with this application. To set this up, first, copy the link from the description below and make a copy. Then go to Extensions and choose App Script.
Click on the Deploy button, select New Deployment, and choose the deployment type as Web App. Enter version 1 inch in the description and in the Execute As section, select Me and in Who Has Access, select Anyone or Only Myself, depending on your use case. Hit Deploy. Copy the URL, and if you want to open it as admin, append admin at RTX4 to the URL. You can change this admin secret in the script. Also, paste the copied URL in the script. After pasting the URL, we need to deploy it again. Go to Manage Deployment and click on the pencil icon. Then choose a new version and hit the Deploy button. That's it. We have completed the setup process. If you liked the project video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.